Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we are in DIY and we are back in the nightmare boiler room and it looks like we got another nightmare. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Another day, another leak in this place. They said they're gonna get rid of everything, but clearly it's still here. Let's see if it's actually this pipe. It seems warm, so it probably is. was leaking here. Why is there so many leaks in this place, man? I think it's this pipe right here. Oh, I see it. Ah, uh, we got a pinhole. Ooh. <laughs> Unreal. All right. Overtime call Friday night. It's always, it's always the case here. All right. I'm just gonna. This is all soaking wet. Let me just see what I could do. You know, none of this stuff is insulated already. I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff, man. Open this thing up. Open it up. Forget about it. It's all over. This whole place is getting junked, no problem. Let me see. It's the best bet here. It's not leaking from the joint. It's soldered joints. It's not leaking from the joint. It's leaking from the freaking fitting, man. I think I could patch that, to be honest with you. I just need to see where I could maybe drain this thing. Okay, so I thought about it. I'm gonna go in for a temporary repair because I don't have these fittings and all the supply houses are closing in about 15 minutes. It ain't gonna happen. It's a two inch copper. This is soldered, this is soldered. But we got a pinhole in the middle of the pipe, which is kind of crazy. But I'm thinking what I could do is protect this, these two joints, sand down the leaking area, and braze it, patch it, give it a patch as a temporary repair to get them going. So. We got two storage tanks. One, two. It looks like there's gonna, this thing is gonna pop any moment as well. Anyways, what we're gonna have to do is shut this down for now. And that's gonna be boiler number one, which is this one, which is working. All right, watch out for a second, Chris. This thing sounds crazy the cover anyways and then number two it's running shut that down got two circulating pumps here this is the other leak repair I did here Woo, still holding up okay we're gonna shut down I'm not sure if these pumps do it, but I'm shutting that down. Number four. And I'm guessing number three. Ooh, it has a lot of water. Number four, off. Off. I'm gonna lock out, tag out. I'll turn this one off as well. Make sure that was that one. This is shut down. This is shut down. Flip that thing back over there. Off. Off. And what you would want to do is lock out, tag out. But ain't nobody coming up here. Okay. And we gotta see how we can shut these valves off. 
this pipe into this. Gotta see how we can drain this thing. The drain line here, which is good. Tap into this thing too. There should be a drain back underneath there too. I don't see one, but oh, I see there's a drain, could drain from there too. We just need it to go down. We gotta find out where the oldest comes from and see, see what we can do. Close some valves and looks like it stopped here. Slowly dripping out, draining into the drain from there. Mopping up back there at the moment. What a zoo of pipes here. So hopefully we can get this thing to drain out. We can do what we can. I'm gonna sand down this area. It's the tiniest, tiniest hole. Just hoping I could patch that up with some grays. Pray to the Lord. Clean that surface so we get a good bond. So solder melts at a much lower point than a brazing rod would. So I'm gonna use wet rag heat blocking putty to cover this and this to cover the solder joints so we don't melt that and concentrate the heat in that one little spot and we'll see if I can just patch it up. I think it stopped. This is the craziest pipe set I was seriously. It's, oh god man, it makes no sense. Freaking valves everywhere, man. Dear lord. This one doesn't even have handles on it. My god. Definitely don't want to make this worse. We need to use a little extra, use a little extra. You could use a wet rag, but hence the name, wet rag. Uh, this stuff is amazing. When I put this on valves, it doesn't even melt the paper sticker off of the base. So the hole is inside there. I'll show you guys a picture. It's the smallest thing. So let's hope we can patch this. I think I'm ready to go. Water coming out. Maybe we could just boil it off. I got a smaller tip, a little more precision. Let's see. Something's coming out of there, is a little bit of air or what. These tanks are empty. That's open, that's open, that's open, this is open. There's nothing left in here. See the tiniest little thing there. It's just something just slipping its way through here and it's just a little bit of water coming down, but this, this is no good here. I wonder if some kind of epoxy or something will work just temporarily and I'll come back and rebuild this. I'd rather press this, man. Dealing with water is uh, the problem when you're lighting a torch. It's impossible. Two. 
thousand years later. I applied so much heat to it. Just some ball on there. I don't know, I'm worried about the other fittings. This might be a disaster. Kind of stopped guys, they didn't even fully melt it. I, I got worried I'm applying too much heat. Nah, screwed up. This thing is all rotten. Now this thing is leaking, man. Oh god. I just went to the, the hardware store. The only thing open. I don't know. I got this water well. And it might sound funny, guys, but I got that flex tape. This might be time to <laughs> try this, man. I really gotta rebuild it, that area. But if I could do this, at least again through the weekend could apply it wet but what I'm gonna do is clean this area with some sandpaper dry it with a rag and try to put that thing on now let's see if this stuff is real that out make sure there's no air gaps actually kind of kind of need it I don't know but at this point anything's worth a shot come on man I've seen it on TV right gonna hit up this side and the top so a little drip on the back side of this as well it's not fully flat surface so I don't know how good that will work but we'll try okay oh here goes nothing I see water coming out of here right now. Can I at least slow it down? Alright guys, it looks horrible. But at least I think I might slow it down until we can come back. I don't trust this thing at all. It says it cures fully in 24 hours, but it seals when things are wet right away. I mean, I don't know, we'll see. All right, guys, here's the news. Flex tape don't work. It's honestly not that bad. It's really not that bad compared to what it was. At least it's not shooting across the entire room because it was really bad we just spent the last few hours i'd say three hours cleaning up the water it was actually flooded all the way back there up to here and then they were on the uh, second floor mezzanine and it went down to the lobby so we're gonna let this thing drain into this bucket which has like a little drain valve there and it's gonna go into the floor drain i'm gonna have it set up under the leak you know, we tried our best, but now because this tape is here, I don't think that's coming off. If I had to rebuild from like here, rebuild this little section. Because this T's, these two T's are too small. There's not really enough space. 
I would have rebuilt it from here to here. But it's not gonna work. It is what it is. They're having a wedding downstairs in the event space and they're begging for hot water. And I'm like, man, which one do you want? But we have to turn it back on. This is the best we're gonna get. Unfortunately, it is what it is. You guys know this is not the kind of work I like to do, but I don't have two inch fittings and there's nothing available right now. But listen, I'll take it. The main thing is that there's no water going down to the lobby. The floor is pretty much dry and uh, there's some sense of relief here. Cutting out to the following day, I came back because crazy enough, there's another leak guys, my gosh. But this is where we got up to. I mean, the other one was shooting across the room. We have a tiny drip, so it didn't work 100%, but it saved us for that day, so. Flex tape, wouldn't recommend it. I don't know, maybe keep it on the truck for some other applications, but it worked almost. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it though. But uh, if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And there's a new leak every week apparently, and I'll catch you all next time.